Hey guys, Kevin Shaw here, Editor-in-Chief of the Watercraft Journal. We are here at the Kawasaki North American dealer meeting. And while everyone is checking out all the really cool motorcycles and side-by-sides, I'm here haunting the new 2025, not 24, 25 Ultra 160 LXS Angler. This is their fishing watercraft. We're gonna take you around. We're gonna show you all the details. But meanwhile, if you haven't already, the article is already live at watercraftjournal.com with all the details, more pictures, way more detail. I'm not gonna be able to be able to recite it all off the top of my head, but let's walk you around this ski. Let's get you familiar with the new fishing entry for Kawasaki. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and you guys get to see it with me. So here we go. Okay, first obviously, we are Arctic white top and bottom with a nice Pacific green uh, highlights, a neat metallic cover. Nothing much has changed, but they do have an optional dry bag backpack that you can roll up. It's a good dry bag, Velcro attached, nice unit, and it slides in. It's made to fit that narrow opening. We're gonna walk around. This is the first edition to the angler and that is your angled trolling rod holder has a nice mount uh, it should have a rubber band mount to hold your rod in but this one clearly does not but again this is a pre-production unit and it is not a production unit there's going to be things that are different someone left their glasses here we're going to put them inside for them we've got oh we've actually got a bob anchor here very cool good fit tilt steering here five point adjustable tilt tilt steering and the battery is hooked up so we can actually hit it with the jog dial there is no trolling mode what they want you to use is you can go through the mode settings or you can use the five mile an hour no wake mode and that will be your low speed trolling mode as you engage the ignition you will light up the Garmin. The Garmin is hooked up. You don't have to engage it separately. That's a really neat note. Obviously, we're gonna be walking around and notice the outrigger. This outrigger is really, really cool. It has a nice piece of hydro turf here so that as you're sitting on the new angler seat, as you can see, it is a flat seat. It is a lot firmer. This seat is great for sliding back and forth. You'll be able to put your feet up here and this is ideal for low speed or static uh, stability because of the deep V hull. Again, Kawasaki's got a 22 and a half degree dead rise. That makes it a very deep hull, a very deep V hull. That's great for offshore, that's great for racing, not so great for low speed static sitting around. That means it's kind of tippy. So these hollow outriggers they're hollow these are going to keep the flotation and the stability of this watercraft really good choice neat thing is is that they are angled to follow the sponson so you're actually going to get an extended sponson feel that's going to provide a lot more lift all right that initial lift is going to get that watercraft out of the water again ideal for offshore so this is a very good addition Big changes, of course, are to the angler rack. This is not the plastic rack that they had before. This rack is a hydroformed, rolled steel, all TIG welded together with nice rubberized st stabilizers for this cooler. The cooler's not going anywhere. And let me show you this. Your rod holders, you got two of them in little cubbies with little rubber band or bungee cord straps. Take these off, comes across really nice. Here, let's put that over here. You're gonna see the ratchet straps. Ratchet straps are keeping the cooler down. So it loops right through this Orca cooler. This is a 13 and a half gallon Orca cooler. Very, very nice unit. Has a cool little detail. I always like that. And then of course you can pull these guys off take them with you they're lightweight they attach right on they pull right off 
So you don't have to take all your gear out individually. You can take it with you. So let's we'll see if I can do this one-handed. I think I'm gonna fail. I'll come back, I'll put that on. All right, so, oh, one more thing. Attachment hardware, huge upgrade to attachment hardware. It's still visible stainless, but you're not gonna snag your feet on it. You're not gonna burn your toes on hot har hardware. This is a very big improvement over the existing uh, ultra rack that we gave a pretty rough review to. So, that being said, let's move around. In the hall is the transducer for the Garmin. So let's do this again. We're gonna ignite the Garmin. Let's walk through for you guys who haven't used the Garmin before. Let's go to the home page. We're gonna walk through this if we can get the get the menu page to fire up. I'm not sure if it is uh, fully awake yet. While we wait, we got our phone cubby. There is no USB port. You're gonna have to option that. You can get that through your dealer, but you're gonna wanna get USB for that. All right, here we go. We're gonna select that, I agree. Here we go. We've got all sorts of chart plotting. We have our traditional sonar. Select that. We can toggle through all these pages. This is a great set for a fish finder. We're gonna go back. Okay, here's our Garmin. Here's our fish finder split screen. For you guys who are familiar with the Garmin setup on the Fish Pro, you're gonna know this like the back of your hand. Great mounting point, very secure, mounted right into the center section. And all the wiring is tucked in very nicely. You're not gonna be able to snag it. There's nothing to hook onto, nothing to snag. And of course, my favorite thing is the sound that you get when you close that lid. No other watercraft manufacturer has that solid feel. That's one of the best things about a Cowie. Cowies are one of the stoutest builds that you got. You can access your flush port from here without removing the rack. So you can flush your ski after a day out on the water. You, oh, just so you know, you do not have the reverse facing camera. Although it is an LXS, you are getting the ultra deck, but you are not getting the reverse camera, but you're getting a whole heck of a lot of other stuff. Now, so, here, hold on a second. That a boy, Bobby. Thank you, sir. All right. One handed sucks. There we are. You are getting the traditional naturally aspirated 1.5 liter, 160 horse, runs on 87, very reliable, bulletproof, very, very good powertrain. Little thirsty, especially for naturally aspirated, but still a very reliable powertrain. All right. All right, guys, that was a quick wrap up. Just walk around on the new Jet Angler. Very excited about this jet ski. This has been a long time coming. Kawasaki, as many of you guys know, Kawasaki kind of has a little bit of a habit of observing what everyone else does, taking notes, seeing what they like about it, and then offering a really conservative, kind of a not so daring, but a really solid, well thought out product. There's a lot of stuff on the Angler that I really like. I feel like I'm really close to the camera, but I want to be heard over the sound system. But the Angler is a long overdue, very nice unit. And like all Ultras, just like all Ultras, you go to your dealer, you can equip it with jet sounds. You can equip it with the USB port. You can equip it with everything that you get on the LX. So if you want a full tilt, Top of the line, fully loaded angler, you can order it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick walk around. We're gonna put this up on YouTube. We're gonna put this up on Facebook. And obviously the article's already live, so make sure to check that out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends. 
and help us grow the channel. And more importantly, if you want more awesome jet ski content, please check us out at www.watercraftjournal.com where new articles are written and published every single day, Monday through Friday. We'll see you there.